様失礼ひとちえだ一応where she always was. It is only you who cannot see her as you did. What have you done with her? The most dangerous thing I could have done. I revealed her to you. Devil! Satan! Ah! It is said that man destroys himself. And ever since the Garden of Eden, women have been of enormous help. They were to... Alvin Hazeltine, age 36, married and frankly bored. But unlike other married men, Alvin learned that he could wander by never leaving home. And that was the beginning of his own destruction. Destruction in the home and hearts. A wife who is there but cannot be seen. All things are possible with just a touch of evil. start anywhere. When a man is ready, he just has to reach a little. Is it all right? Yeah. Fine. Right. You said the egg was too soft yesterday, so I, uh, I cooked it a little bit longer today. I cooked it for... Three minutes and five seconds. Property taxes are going up. Three seconds. Three minutes needs to be perfect. What foreign policy? If you like, I could go back to three minutes. No, dear, it's fine. anything you'd like? Yes. Yes, there is. I'd like, uh... I'd like, uh, French toast. Well, you never ask for French toast. That's just the point. The unexpected is what we want. I mean, everything we ask for, we receive, it's expected. The, the places we go, the friends we have, the places we see, the things we do, it's all expected. There was a time in our marriage when things were different, uh, exciting, danger. Oh, boy. I, uh, think I'm gonna be late. You're not happy, Alvin. Well, now, where'd you ever get an idea like that, dear? Why, that egg was, uh, it was perfect. Thank you. 
Oh, thank you very much. I don't want to be saved today. Oh, <laughs> but we are not in that business at all. We give you just what you're looking for, without the usual risk. <laughs> Try it up the Gornish way. Me? Satisfaction guaranteed. Where is this place? Follow me, sir. I'm heading there myself. Well, now, if you'll just have a seat, we'll get to your problem right away. Your doctor? Yes, yes, I'm going to. Forced to double up these days. <laughs> hey, part to find. But the important thing is we've got you here in time, Albert. Uh, uh, Alvin. Yes, yes. Uh, sit down, Alvin. Sit down. The point is you are here. And none too soon for a man of 34. Six. Who has been married to the same little woman for the past nine... Fourteen. ...years. And hopelessly, grindingly, crushingly bored. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> Most common complaint, sir. <laughs> Most common complaint. Twelve years of a steady, bland, unstimulating time. Well, there's nothing wrong with Selma. Uh, there never is, Mr. Braithwaite. Uh, uh, hazel time. No, Selma's a, a very good wife. But, uh, <laughs> no but. <laughs> now she's made me a very... Pleasant home. Yes, I know. Yet somehow lacking in that modicum of spice we all require to make the blood course through our veins. <laughs> Variety, change, different. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement of another woman. Yeah, well. <laughs> the age old problem of the human name. Yeah. A problem which I, Dr. Gornick, have solved. you solved? Uh, do you know how many colors there are in gray? Sure. Two, black and white. Uh -huh. Six that we know of. Six? Each color of the primary wheel. What? And thousands more beyond the range of human sight. Really? So gray isn't gray after all. Is that clear? No. Look into this and tell me what you see. Reflections. Each another image of you. Slightly different angle. Refractions of light. Refractions of people. The variety is infinite. Infinite aspects of every man. And every woman. You mean Selma? Selma is any woman. As all women are. And each Selma totally different from the next. How do I find these other selmas? A Gornak prison. A Gornak prison? A Gornak prison. <laughs> and here I thought you were a therapist. Okay, Gornak, how much? No charge. No charge? No charge until you are satisfied. Free? Okay, come on, what's the catch? Ah, there's a catch to be sure. To 
see other aspects of people we know in seeing the unfamiliar. Not only in looks, but in, in character. So, that could be disturbing. Well, at least it won't be boring. Thank you, Gornak. You can bill me anytime. Goodbye, sir. And good luck with Zelda. Settle the racks to our claim for twenty-five thousand dollars. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. What did you have for lunch? Uh, uh, no, not much. Not much. Took a walk instead. Met a funny little fellow. That's good. That's good. I, I, I'm glad you didn't swear. Yes. Well, what, what's happening? Here, here? Now, did you just wait just a second? Where are you? All right, now don't open your eyes. Now wait, wait. All right. Well, it's what you wanted, isn't it? Well, no, not exactly, no. But you said... No, no, I said that I wanted change. I wanted something different. You see, I actually, I hate French toast. You hate French toast? I hate French toast. You hate it. I went to all this work and I did... Man, you know, oh, I can't do anything right for oh, no, you. Now, no, no, wait a minute. Oh, tell no. you. oh I'm so oh. sorry, oh. Thelma, honey. Don't make a big deal out of it. I'll tell you what. We, we'll, uh, we'll send out for Chinese. Oh. Well, uh, we'll uh, get dressed and go out for Chinese. Oh. Oh. Listen, darling, I almost forgot. I got a surprise for you. Here. Look. I took a walk to the, uh, the top. Well, actually, the, the, uh, the sandwich the sign told me that Dr. Topless... Uh, Topless? Zelma? <laughs> Zelma? <laughs> Something was stretched across the top of the stairs up there. Oh, well, that must have been the wire that I used to measure the stairs. Wire? Wire? Oh, oh well, to measure the stairs for the new carpet. I, I mean, I'm bored with this one, aren't you? Why didn't you use a yardstick? Well, that's a common way to do it. Everybody does that. I like to do things differently, uh, dangerously. That's what turns you on, isn't it, Albert? Danger. Well, no. No, not particularly. No. No. Stay out. Stay out of here. I don't like that. Alvin. No, no, stay out. Alvin, you can't keep me out, you know. Yeah. 
Calvin, darling, are you angry with me? <laughs> well, how could I uh, uh, possibly be angry with you? Well, you, you seem to be so surprised whenever you see me. Well, I'm just surprised by your many different aspects. What a sweet thing to say. Alvin. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alvin. Mm -hmm. Could you... <laughs> Would you do me teensy, weensy little favor? Thank you. Any time, darling. Any time. Have a nice day. Oh, and a lovely drive. to kill me. Uh, they're trying to kill me. I mean, they... Well, I don't know what I mean. All I know is that it started here and I want it stopped. Now! I can understand your being upset. If indeed your wife attempted murder... She didn't attempt murder. It was those, those, those women that you conjured up. My dear fellow, you give me credit beyond my powers. There is a redhead and a blonde in my house. Congratulations. Every woman has a blonde and a redhead within her. And you have found it. My wife, Selma, would not try to kill me. When you look beneath the surface, you can never be sure what you'll find. I warned you, Angus. Alvin! Al my name is Alvin! And I don't care about your warnings anymore. I'm happy the way I am with the woman I've always wanted. And here's your damn... I'll send it to you by mail. Selma! 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 Oh, Alvin, don't, don't open the door. Don't come in. I've got another surprise for you. Another surprise? Well, I got a part in the Bible play at church, and I'm trying on the costume. Selma? Church? Bible play? That's marvelous. That's marvelous. Uh, your robe is upstairs on the bed. Thank you, darling. Thank you. I, I have to mail something off. No more fun and games with you. You see, let me get rid of that thing. Dr. Leopold Gornak, over 202 Berkeley Lodge, City. Yeah, there you're not. Here I come.
Goodbye, Alvin. I'm leaving. to visit you. Tell me, is that you? Well, yes, of course it's me. Where am I? Why am I here? Oh, Alvin, I think it's all my fault. I was never a very good wife to you. No, that's not true, Selma. That's not true. No, no, no. Hush now. You were always searching for something else, something that you couldn't find in me. Well, now I understand. Now I know how right you were. And I'm going to find it, Alvin, for you. All of the unexpected, exciting, dangerous things that life can offer. No! And I think it might be fun, Alex. Alvin! 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 My name is Alvin! No, Thelma, no, wait, come back! Thelma, you're the wife I've always wanted, forever! Thelma, come back! Th why don't you just relax, Angus? You're in good hands now, Arthur. Alphonse. Well, you're back again, aren't you? Well, well, well. Well, what's the time you got for me now? Huh? You got a little fun for me? Good times, huh? <laughs> well, you're gonna be arriving. Why can't I get up? Yeah! Consider the luck of Alvin Hazeltine, who achieved what every man wants, a life of infinite variety. For this, he pays a modest price. Alvin spends a good deal of his time spitting out poisons, dodging daggers, and squirming away from pythons left carelessly in his bed. But at least he's never bored. How many of us can say that? So, until we meet next, this is Anthony Quayle saying, there is a touch of evil in all of us. Good night.